Hello everyone, my name is Hamid. I have a very long name, but you can call me Hamid and I'm your instructor for business uh, intelligence course. Uh, I'm second year assistant professor at Clark University. And my focus is on a different application of uh, data science tools in healthcare and finance. For the healthcare, uh, I'm, my focus is on uh, predicting health outcome and finding the values associated, uh, uh, that are associating with longer survival. In the finance, I've, um, I'm focusing on predicting stock market and Bitcoin prices or other cryptocurrencies. And also we are doing a new research about the uh, house prices in the Massachusetts, the Bitcoin wine, the blockchain one is already public, uh, is already accepted. So hopefully it, after it uh, got ready for uh, viewing, I would uh, give it to you guys to read. The fun fact about myself, I'm doing some powerlifting. So hopefully after COVID, you will see me more in the gym. And uh, let's start from here. I go by your names. I'm not sure if the order that I'm seeing same with you guys. So please just introduce yourself. Where I'm in the, by the way, I'm in my office. So just say uh, your name, first name, last name, your background, and where are you, and a fun fact about yourself. Let me uh, read the names, sorry, especially if your names are not uh, English, it might be, I might be, I might have some mistakes in reading your names. So I said feed Yiven Chi, right? Uh, yes, Yiven. And uh, my major is business analytics, and this is my second semester. And uh, I'm originally from China, and I'm staying in Ulster right now. Cool. And, a fun uh, fact about yourself. Fun fact about myself is um, I like watching anime. <laughs> OK, cool. So the next one. Hopefully I'm pronouncing right. Liao Zhao, something like that. So Liao, you're muted. Yeah, yeah uh, well, I was trying to connect the camera too. Uh -huh. So uh, anyway, so uh, my name is Liao Zhao and you guys call me Liao. And uh, this is my second semester in the Clark. So, and this is my second major. So my first major is uh, communication. And second major is uh, business administration, uh, business analysis, sorry. So uh, I'm from China and this is my um, like six to sixth year in the United States. So I was graduated from the uh, University of Nebraska Lincoln. So, and the fun fact of me is uh, I love to play video games, I think. Yeah, include uh, consoles, like a PC, a Steam, something like that. Yeah, that's all. Cool. So next one, I pick a larvae, I guess. Hi everyone, um, my name is Aya Bea and I am doing the MBA program with a concentration in business analytics. I'm from Ghana, I'm currently in Ghana. And um, a fun fact about me is, I guess I learned how to crochet like over the quarantine period. So that was fun. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to be here and learn with every one of you. That's cool. Next one, you Yukao with the nickname of Ryan. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yu Kao, and uh, you can call me Ryan. And I, I'm in master's and now I'm my major in business analytics. And I like to uh, play video games and uh, basketball, play basketball. OK, thanks. I think your background, it seems you're in Hawaii or somewhere like that. <laughs> OK, next one. Runji Tank, I guess you're in the library, right? Uh, yeah, I'm in the library. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, 
Um, my name is Run Zhi Tang, and I'm I'm from China, and I'm I'm live I'm in China now. Um, um, I'm I'm was a major in business analysis. My hobby is playing basketball, maybe playing video game, something like that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, by the way, I I think I read an article about the boys who are playing video games. Uh, they they get less uh, depression, so they are very good in uh, avoiding depression. So yeah, if I find it again, I share it with you guys. So the next one is Evan. Evan with hoodie, yeah. <coughs> Hello, my name is Evan. Uh, I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in Western Mass. Uh, I will be in Worcester for the semester. I'm a second second semester accelerated MBA with concentrations in business analytics and finance. And I went to Clark for undergrad. And I guess my fun fact was uh, I like to play soccer. I played for Clark for four years. And so what is your uh, favorite soccer team? I don't really watch a lot of soccer. It's kind of too much of a commitment for me. But if I was to support a team, it would be uh, Man City. So I'm for Man United. So. Oh. <laughs> and Arsenal, actually. So the next one is Van Jinshan. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Jinshan Wan, and uh, my English name is Tony. Uh, this is my second semester in MSBA program, and uh, I'm from China. And my, I, I, I love video games, and I, I like uh, uh, watching basketball games, and uh, hoping have a great time with everyone here and learn from each other. That's cool. There's so many people are fan of video games. Brian Fleece. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian. I am a uh, second semester uh, studying uh, marketing analytics. I, my fun fact, I guess, would be that I'm from the Dominican Republic. I'm boring like that. Uh, but nice to meet everyone. That's cool. Okay, next one, Ken Zhang. Um, hi, Professor. My name is Ken Zhang. Um, and this is uh, the second semester in Clark, and I come from China. Um, I also go to the gym. I allow, uh, allow exercise and training. Cool. Hopefully, after quarantine, you see me in the gym too. Uh, next one, Suryanka. Hello, everybody. My name is Suryanka. Um, I am an MBA student with a concentration in business analytics, and I am from Boston. And a fun fact about me is that I am from, I'm sorry, um, I got a dog. There we go. <laughs> uh, which kind of dog? I got a husky recently. Oh, nice. <laughs> so next one, Kai Lunlin. Hi everyone, I'm Kai. Okay, uh, I'm Kai Lun, so you can call, call me Kai. And uh, my major is uh, business analytics. And uh, now because of uh, COVID nineteen, now I study. Uh, I stay in Taiwan, and I love um, watching Netflix and uh, go surfing. Yes, surfing, nice. Yes. Okay, next one, Kathy uh, Rolapali, uh, I guess. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Kirti. Uh, maybe you can call me Ki uh, if you're unable to pronounce my name. Uh, so I'm from Connecticut. Uh, well, uh, this is my second master's after my MBA. Um, so fun fact about me, I, I, would, I am a, a table tennis player and I'm a singer. I do abstract painting. Uh, the list goes on. <laughs> that's it. Okay, we have an artist, singer. That's very nice. Maybe after uh, quarantine, we, have, we might have some parties and we invite you. Uh, next one, Sh uh, Xin Yuan. Um, hi, guys. My name is Xin Yuan, and I come from China. Um, this is my second semester of uh, at Clark. Uh, that I'm majoring in business analytics. Um, I, I also like playing video games, <laughs> that's all. What is the favorite video games that you and your friends usually play? Um, Apex Legends. 
Yeah, more in FIFA and soccer video games. Oh, okay. So next one, Ji Liang. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is Jie and uh, major in marketing analytics. Uh, right now I live in Beijing and I come from China. And nice to meet you guys. Um, uh, something about me. I have a dog, a Samoy, uh, two years old, and uh, I like him a lot. Yeah, that's all. Nice. Okay, next one, Gabriel Logan. Hopefully, I pronounced it right. Or oh, Gabriel Logan, something like that. Hello. Um, yeah, uh, I'm Gabriel. Uh, this is my last semester at Clark in the MBA program. So pretty much one of my last few classes. Um, I work as an AP therapist. I guess that's a fact you could ask. Um, I guess I'll follow the same trend. I play video games and I guess during quarantine, I picked up a puppy from a shelter. Nice, that's what my brother do. Uh, also, you know, there is a nice bar in Worcester. Hopefully I don't make miss the name is five points, I guess. So in that bar, you can go and play video games. That's a really nice one. Hopefully uh, after quarantine, you would uh, find that place as a really interesting place. Next one, Rose Berberi Martin. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rose. I um, am in my last semester in the MBA program. I'm in the professional track. Um, I work at a law firm in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, I live in Boston. Um, and it's not really a fun fact, but I uh, am waiting for a new webcam from my IT department. So that is why my camera is not on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. So no, uh, next one, Naomi Augustine. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Naomi Augustine. I am in the fifth year MBA program. This is my last semester. I'm concentrating in business analytics and information management. Currently, I'm in Worcester, but I call home New York. Um, I guess a fun fact about me is I'm trying to get away from coffee. So right now, I'm trying out different kinds of teas. Actually, I tried to get avoid of all kind of caffeines. On the last two months, I, I never drank any caffeinated beverage. But I can say for first two weeks, this was a disaster. So next one is Kelly Van or Van Ling. Hi guys. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh. Hi guys, I'm Kelly and uh, I'm MSBA student now. And well, this is my second semester in clerk. Well, um, well, I, I, I have two tiny fish. Um, that's only fun, the only fun fact about me. But, and I have, I uh, like make a lot of time on YouTube. Yeah, I'm like I love to watch YouTube video. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's interesting. So actually, uh, I'm going to uh, share all of classes over YouTube, and also the link would be provided in uh, Moodle. So uh, anytime, if you want to review the video again, you can just find the link over. Uh, Zoom session section of your model. I put all of the links there. Okay, next one, Ashisha Connor. Hi guys. Hi, um, I'm Ashisha. Currently, this term I'm I'm back in Singapore. I was in Worcester last term. Um, I'll be coming back coming in August again. I'm currently pursuing MSB accounting course. Um, very excited to for this course for the analytics uh, to learning about Tableau, SAS. Been hearing a lot of that during the interviews and everything. So uh, fun fact, uh, Singapore having zero cases. So that's the fun fact. Um, good to be here. Not in all this uh, hoo-ha back in Donald Trump and stuff over there. So that's good. Um, apart from that, yeah, I just went for my 20, 28 km walk trail walking around Singapore yesterday. So I do a lot of activities to keep myself busy. So that's, that's that, good. thanks. So next one, uh, Andrew 
I cannot see your family name, but first name, Andrew. Yep, so uh, my name's Andrew Hollerbach. I'm currently finishing up my last semester getting my MBA, and I have a constant, or I'm doing my concentration in information management and business analytics. Um, I'm from Connecticut, but I'm taking classes, or I live in Worcester right now. Um, and then a fun fact about me is I just learned how to uh, build my own PC. So I recently did that uh, about a month ago. Thought it was a pretty fun process, but yeah. Yeah, it's actually a fun. I, I did it before, but it's kind of challenging because you should match properly. Some uh, uh, doesn't match together. So that should be cool. Right. So next one, Tauma. Oh, hi, guys. My name is Ma Tao. Uh, you can call me Tao. Uh, I'm studying in Clark University for uh, this is my second semester. My, I'm majoring in business analytics. Uh, now I, I live in Worcester. I, I live in Worcester and um, I like uh, watching serial and the YouTube vlogger. Uh, uh, thank you. That's all. Mm, that's cool. So next one, Chun Xin Yang. Hello, everyone. My name is Chun Xin Yang, and you can also call me Cynthia. And my major is business analytics, and it's my second semester in Clark University. And I like to watch movies in my free time. Um, it's very happy to uh, be a classmate with you and hope we can have a good semester. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next one, Shuyan Song. Uh, hi, my name is Shuyan Song, and uh, this is my second uh, semester in Clark, and I'm in Worcester now. I'm a major. I'm major in MSBA. And I always, I, I already kill them by watching TV show and movies, and I'm interested in ukulele. That's really good. So next one, Yi Zhang. Hi, everyone. My name is Yi Zhang, and you can just call me Yi. Uh, I'm major in business analysis, and this is my second semester in Clark. I live in China now. Um, actually, I don't have some big hobbies, just uh, um, watching uh, suspense movies in my spare time. Cool. Thank you. So next one, Van Lin Hu. Hello, everyone. My name is Van Lin Hu. I'm an SBA student, and this is my second semester. So I, I'm living in the very state now. And before this period, I lived in uh, California, Santa Clara because I got an intern, internship here. And in my free time, I like watching movies and I like sports and enjoy hanging out with my friends. And good luck to everyone for this semester. That's really good. So next one, Joshua Cole. Hi, I'm Josh. Um, I am just finishing up my MBA, hoping to couple last couple classes to go here um i am a nurse um and i currently manage um a unit um, fun fact about me uh, <clears throat> i enjoy woodworking and video games. that's nice so next one is tobias i do, i cannot see your family name Hi, I'm Tobias. You can call me Toby. So I'm from the Boston area-ish. I'm like an hour outside. Um, and I can, I mean, within driving distance of, Wor of Worcester, but I don't actually live there. And I'm also in the business analytics program. And I guess the interesting fun fact about me is that I fence normally, but I can't really do that because we're all stuck at home. Cool. Next one is Vezu. Hi everyone, I'm Wei Zhou uh, and uh, I come from China and uh, this is the second semester from, um, for me in study in the clock and uh, my major is uh, business analytics, but I, uh, I think I will focus more on the 
data science. And um, after graduate, I will find a, a data science career, uh, a related career. So that's all. That's very interesting. So did I miss any? Is there anyone who haven't presented him or herself? It seems all of you present. So uh, if you, and there is someone who couldn't, just let me know. Uh, it seems uh, all of you have good backgrounds from mostly uh, business analytics and MBA. Also, there's a few of you from other majors. And so, Uh, since there is a different backgrounds, we I cover some materials that is suited for most of you. I actually all of you, but let's say if you're a business analytics student or you have you or you have you have some concentration on some parts, you can go further. And uh, basically, if you already had some courses in Python and R, you can also use those materials in this course. Uh, maybe some section uh, you would be more comfortable using your previous knowledge. That's totally fine too. So let's go to our syllabus. So we can uh, walk through the syllabus. And if there is any questions, please let me know. Uh, so. Okay. Could you see my syllabus? Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I already introduced myself. Okay, um, so class hours is 10.25 to 11.40 or Zoom. Hopefully if we all of got us uh, get vaccinated, uh, you can see me in the, uh, my, in, the, in the clock too, but at this time I think myself uh, healthier if we go over Zoom. Office hours is 12 to 1 p.m. And you can either, you can uh, email me or click on this appointment link. So if you click on it, um, do you see a, a 30 minute me meeting slide? Could you see that? Let me see. I don't think so. Okay, after you click on that, Appointment link. You see such a page. You click on this 30 minute meeting. Uh, you know, before February 22, you cannot set any meeting because it's already passed. Let's say you want to see me on Friday. Today, let's see if, okay. Today, the office office is already booked, but let's say you want to see me at 3 p.m. So click on 3 p.m., confirm. You put your name, email, let's say name, I mean, uh, at workure.edu. Questions about films. And you schedule an event. So when you uh, do through this, I get an email and I know that we have, I have a meeting for uh, with you guys. So just check my uh, calendar link. Again, let me go over there again. Here in this appointment link, you can set up appointment. Please do it during office hours, but if it's not, it's not available, just through that link, find another time slot that works for you. Also, you can, email me and say, Hamid, I want to have a meeting with you and see if that works too. The next one is Zoom link. So all of the meetings would be over uh, Zoom. Again, if we get all of us get vaccinated, hopefully we can have in-person meetings, but uh, with clicking this Zoom link, you can get to that meeting. And uh, also for classmate, again, we have a Zoom link, which if you click on this, my syllabus, it is uh, blue uh, text, so you can get to our class. So also, uh, 
after any class I save, I record the meeting and the, or the class and you post it over YouTube. So if you click on here, you get to my YouTube channel and you see the like it's for the previous semester. So for this semester, you see the date that you have the class with me and you can find uh, the video associated to the today's class. Any questions so far? By the way, the Zoom link for office servers and class uh, meetings are exactly the same. I don't use any dynamic address. So every time all of the addresses are the same. So let's talk about the course. So in this course, um, we have three goals. First, understanding the problem. Uh, second part, uh, finding some relevant data and being able to process the data. And in the third section, we try to solve a problem. And the problem solving section is in two parts. One part is uh, predictive part. Basically we use some machine learning algorithm to predict some outcomes or uh, finding some variables that are related to that outcome. Let's say uh, one of your classmates is a nurse he, and he wants to know, let's say, I'll just make a make up example. Let's say he's working in the uh, surgery department and they have some heart transplantation and they want to know what factors are associated to somebody's length of survival, how long they can live with a donated heart organ. Maybe it could be weight, it could be some medicine that they give or uh, temperature or the exercise that the patient though, heart pressure, uh, um, sorry, blood pressure, blood sugar and other factors. So as a nurse, he can understand these factors are important. Let's focus on those outcomes. Maybe if somebody is overweight, maybe help him or her to lose the weight. If some medicine is helpful for, for uh, uh, improving the length of survival after heart transplantation surgery, maybe they focus on those medicine and give to the patient to let him or her live longer. The second type of problems that we try to solve is prescriptive problems. Uh, basically, it's different types of uh, math that help you to basically uh, try to find the best solution. Just an example, let's talk about Amazon. As you know, Amazon is like uh, uh, eliminating so many retails in the United States. So, so, so many, like even Sears as a large company got vanished through Amazon. Amazon has a, a supply chain that connects uh, manufacturer to the customers. So there is so many ways to send a product from manufacturer to the consumer. So they try to find the best solution that reduces the time and cost. So you as a customer get, can get some products even in one day or two days with the minimum price. In such a case, we're trying to minimize the cost and time. So the type of the math that we solve such a problems, we call it prescriptive analytics. So just as a summary, first part, portion of the course is uh, descriptive analytics is about 30% of your course. So, and our focus is on Tableau. It's a very generic software that everybody with different backgrounds can use. But if you are from uh, analytics background and you are very good in Python and R, you can do those descriptive analytics over Python or R2. But my teaching is through Tableau. Second part uh, is predictive part and is about 30% of your course load. And I use nine, but again, 
if you have different backgrounds and you're comfortable with Python and R, you, you are more than welcome to do that section through Python and R. And the last part is prescriptive, which is the last third of your course. In the, that section, we focus on Excel solver and also Lingo to solve prescriptive uh, problems, but also MATLAB is a uh, widely used software that many people do. So Tableau, I, I already applied for a license. So hopefully uh, in a few days, we get the license and I distribute to you guys and you can go to the Tableau website, download and use the software. NIME and Excel and Lingo are free. So, so you don't need to pay anything for using softwares. Uh, in this course. Any questions so far? I have a question. Sure. Um, last semester, I know my professor showed us how to download Python, but how about Tableau? Is like, is that something we have to get separately or purchase? Yeah, in the next class, I <clears throat> show you how to um, download Tableau and install it. <clears throat> Sorry, and uh, this is a free software. I mean, it's, it's a, actually, it's not a free software, but we get a license to use it for free. Okay, good to know. Just one. Good question. Okay, let me uh, read the course goals, understand present business stat status, use data for identifying process problem. And so these two parts is, a descriptive section, use the data analysis tools for supporting a decision-making process, learn the skills and tools for solving business problems, translate subjective ideas into objective business solutions. So these three are prescriptive and, uh, prescriptive and predictive sections. The last one, professionally communicate the solution through antics reports and oral presentation and written reports. So I want you guys not just use, uh, be able to use those software to, to be able to professionally communicate your report. Otherwise people don't appreciate. And also uh, I, if you want to, uh, to uh, work in the industry, you should work as a professional. They, they, you know, they don't want to hire robots. They want to do somebody who can uh, professionally think and provide useful reports, otherwise, What's the point of hiring someone who knows analytics? Okay, there is uh, some prerequisites. And in my point of view, it's not necessary because we start from scratch and we do, uh, we cover different backgrounds. It's good to have these things in your mind, but they are not necessary uh, in terms of the knowledge that you gain. So especially Python or Visual Basic, you don't have to know them. Good to know, but they are not necessary. You have a textbook that I provide the link here. And there is some reading section from that textbook. Also, every semester we update the material. So this semester I might provide some uh, reading and some new softwares to cover, which I update. Uh, provide the information through model. No assignment for today. So main topics again, descriptive analytics, visualization, dashboards, predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics, and linear program. This is the time distribution that is needed for this course, like pretty much common with uh, one unit courses. And as you see, uh, class engagement, class review, assignment, quizzes, final project, and total. So this is an online course. I include quizzes within the assignments. So basically, some of your assignments are quizzes, but uh, all of them are in, uh, after in your evaluation, I consider all together. So your, uh, your evaluation has four major parts, class uh, participation during class or online. I explain further later. 
30% assignments, which could be include your assignments, 30% term project, and 35% final exam. No worries about the final exam. I have it for last two or three years. I, or before the final exam, I'll give it to you guys so you can read by yourself and also with your friends and help each other. So some part of uh, the course is through class uh, participation as 5% of your class based on uh, your ideas that you discuss in the class. And also we have a chat room through, uh, let me show it to you guys. If you go to announcements, we have two sections. One section is Zoom session infos, which you see the permanent Zoom link. So I don't change it. Every time you can copy and paste or just in syllabus, click on that link. And after each class, I uh, upload the YouTube link here. The second announcement is class group me link. If you copy and paste it here, I always see like six or seven of you join. So basically in here, uh, you can uh, chat with your friends and also with me. And I appreciate uh, answering your question through here because if it's your question, it might be a question of your other friends. So just join to this uh, group me. And also if I find something very interesting, I share it here. It's a, a fast way of communication and less formal. Uh, you can be funny here too. So, and for example, if one of your friends has a question and you answer the question through this group me chat, chat room, you get the participation credit. Or if even you ask a question, you get the credit. If you answer the question, you get the credit. If you share something interesting, you get the credit. So on top of the online uh, classes that we have and we talk over uh, Zoom, you can be active here and get the participation credit. Any questions so far? Okay, I think it should be pretty clear. So let me go over the syllabus again. I may give you some interesting assignment as a extra credit. And also we have a major part of your course is a true project. So by next month, so March 22nd, you should provide the project proposal. It's basically just problem statement. What did you get motivated to uh, this project topic? And no worries if your, I assume that your knowledge about the course is limited. So uh, you might change the project proposal later, but don't miss this due date. Otherwise you may lose some credit. So you, by uh, March 22nd, uh, you should uh, you should provide your project proposal. Also, uh, in two months, April twenty second, you should uh, provide project uh, project introduction. It's, it has ten points: literature review, research questions, and descriptive statistics. Which uh, you learn how to do them. Uh, no worries. And the last part is final product. As you see, 40 points is final reports. And your presentation is also has 40 points because I care how you present your idea. So you should be uh, practice and be very professional in presenting your what you did and also uh, impress the people. 
as you see, uh, there's a due date for final reports and there is a due date for presentation. It could be either in-class presentation or Zoom. Like today, I give the session to you and you have some like 20 minutes to present your research or your project. If you don't, couldn't have time and you are not comfortable or you have any health issue, you can maybe share it through YouTube and submit the YouTube link. So basically the last week of the class is for your presentation. Uh, professor, is the project individually or in groups? It's in group of, uh, you can do it individually or in group of three at most. Okay. And if you increase your group uh, team members, I expect I expectation my expectation would be more, because if your project is done with one person versus three person, I uh, I would be more picky and I expect more because three person should work a lot more than one person. and pick your uh, team members in, in the uh, professional way. And I grade all of you together and your, there is no individual grading for the people who are in the groups. All of them would get one credit or one grade. This is a distribution for final grade policy. Unfortunately, we are not, don't have any A plus anymore. So as you see, above 95 A, 90 to 95 A minus, 86 to 90 B plus, B, B minus, D plus C, and C minus. And we, we usually don't have any DNF, uh, especially for graduate level, unless you don't do anything, I guess. Please follow uh, academic honestly. And Unfortunately, some semester we see some issues and it's not good, especially if you're in the graduate level. So please follow the code and, and uh, just be sure that you follow the academic honesty codes. Uh, in, in case you need some accommodation, we have some uh, ways that you can request and have those accommodation. And just please follow the university rules and just let me know. Okay, this is the schedule. Uh, unless you have any uh, like major event or any issue, it would be same whole of the semester. As you see, first part is like introduction, visualization, data toolbox. So this part is first part, which is descriptive. Second part is start from predictive antics sentiment analysis. And uh, this section is for predictive. And the last part is for prescriptive. We have one week of uh, final project presentation and also we have final exam or project week. I think one of your classes is also associated to a university holiday. And I think it's April 21st is, we don't have any class. So, and for that section, I just post the video, but it's not a part of your class. So uh, for the, if there is a, if for any reason we have any holiday or any break, uh, I don't, uh, I cancel that session, but I provided an optional video and or optional reading if you're interested. As you see, there is no midterm, but we have assignments. And also your final exam is a kind of assignment, but uh, you have like a few days to, uh, to upload that assignment, which is your final exam. Any questions so far? Uh, hi, Professor, I have a question. Sure. Uh, it's regarding the textbooks. Do we absolutely need necessary to buy, uh, get a textbook for this? There is some reading and some assignments that you need to get the textbook, but uh, also you can rent it. I think uh, 
I'm not sure during, uh, how your library works during COVID, but mm -hmm. I mean, we cover some sections that you need to read and basically answer the assignments. It's 30 bucks to rent on Amazon okay. digitally. I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Bye -bye. I give you something, you know, one time I remember I bought a used book, a book over Amazon. And at the end of semester, I sold it, and I didn't lose any money. So um, you professor, can... I have a... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, will the readings and the assignments be listed um, ahead of time, or will it kind of be posted as you go? It would be posted as we go. Okay. Because I also do some feedbacks from you guys. Based on your feedbacks, I might change some parts of the class. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, if there is no question, let's just start the uh, class. And we do, I don't teach today, just a little more understanding about the course. So. Uh, good. If you go to class model, by the way, this is my model. It might be a little different from you guys. So you see, we have announcement section, syllabus section, project delivery. So you can you you can still sub uh, do submission even. But I already posted due date, so you know how to do. So I already posted the assign some assignments, not all of them. So project deliveries, final exams, because the date is exact. So for each week, so you don't see the other weeks. I already put the materials there. And but uh, for each week, you can there is basically one material folder and some assignment. Let me go to the assignment. Even the first day you have assignment. So, and basically in this assignment, you need to upload a uh, document on model containing your introduction, background, hobbies, and a photo. Don't forget to put a photo because I want to remember your face. And also second section, any recent business analytics application. How did the company use analytics? Business or business intelligence, BI stands for business intelligence, to solve a business problem, not more than 200 words. I talk about it later. It's the reason you have 12 days. So you can start writing the first section. And if you're comfortable, even write the second section. But we talk about the second section, especially in the next class. So go to materials and download the PowerPoint. So just you click on it and you download the file. Hi, Professor. Yeah. May I ask a question? Sure. Well, um, do we have TA for this class? Uh, not yet. Um, I'm looking for TAs, but if we get a TA, I update the information over syllabus. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's first start first forward. I just go a little bit through it and, um, oops. It works. Let's uh, look at the teaching philosophy. I listen, I forget. I see, I remember. I do, I understand. Is a Is it actually a Chinese proverb? Our Chinese uh, classmate, could you confirm? Is it really Chinese? So this. Um. I don't know this. I never heard it before. Okay, so probably it's not, but I saw it in the book. So sorry if there is a uh, next, uh, I, I update this uh, 
a point later, but I saw in the book. So basically what, uh, and uh, the second one is from uh, Professor Sharda. I know him and I know he did, made that. So expose, explore, and experiences. What does it mean? It means um, for knowing a knowledge or for knowing some, getting some skills, you need to do your, make your hands dirty. You need to do some experiment. You need to do by yourself. And this is the philosophy for this course. So over the slides and uh, over the slides and videos, I teach you some materials. But for learning them and grasping the knowledge and skill, you need to do by yourself. You need to make your hands dirty. And by some hands and experiences, you can get the skills. So, and this is especially in the analytics courses. So you need to do experiments. So as, uh, just a, a small portion of your knowledge comes through reading and listening. I can say 80% comes from hands-on experiences. Uh, this is a fo my focus in this course. So you might see I don't focus too much on slides or teaching. I mostly focus on uh, doing some experiment using especially the softwares that we have. So please don't blame me later why we have so many experiments instead of like teaching or reading materials because it's the effective way of um, learning this course. And for, for, for the people who just uh, came to graduate level, uh, there's a big difference in, in the graduate level courses and undergraduate. So basically in the graduate, undergraduate, usually your instructor gives everything to you and explain all the steps. And you just and follow step by step by you guys. But uh, in the graduate level, uh, some, a major learning uh, comes to, uh, by yourself and your peers. So basically uh, you need to learn how do something, some of them comes by just your own experiences. The instructor give you some, uh, show you the path and the way that you can learn and some of the learning comes by yourself. So later we have some softwares. I show you how, some, sometimes I show you a step by step, but some of them comes by yourself, your own uh, adventure. So if you go to PhD, uh, most most of your learning comes by yourself. Your instructor gives you just paths and general insights you need to do by yourself. And at the end of PhD, you should know how to teach to other people. So this is the way, again, uh, you should consider in this class that uh, just reading the PowerPoint and listening and watching the videos is not enough. So you need to do some hands-on experiences and you need to learn how to learn by yourself. Especially, you might end up working in a company. So in those companies, you, ha you have somebody who teaches you something, but they ex expect you to learn by yourself. Especially if you want to be very successful in your uh, industry. If you go to a startups, uh, which like I remember last time I said some of your friends got a job in startups, uh, there's some, one of the points that you would see in startups, everybody almost in your level and your experiences, everybody learned by him or herself. In the, usually in those places, there's not that much of people to teach you. So again, I hope you keep in mind that this is the way of success in the graduate level courses. Okay, look at this table. As you see, uh, in the first column is the day, second column is counties, third is state, and less, last is cases. So it's how many new cases we have in each day, in each county of Massachusetts and New York. In uh, 17th of um, January, 2021, last month. So is there anyone that can look at this table and give me uh, some insights? For example, which counties are safest, which counties is the worst? No worries, you don't need to be very correct. I just want to see a feedback from you guys. 
looks like the so, Dukes County is the safest. Or yeah, looks to be that way. And then I don't know. Nantucket's pretty safe. Pretty low cases there. Well, Essex as well. Delaware. Which one is the worst? So on paper, the Middlesex County should be the worst, unless I'm missing something. But shouldn't we be looking at not, shouldn't we also be trying to figure out how many people in a place? So like, shouldn't we be looking at the percentage of the population, not the actual just total number? Yeah, that's a really good point that you, uh, Tobias said. And yeah, I mean, yeah, some counties, maybe there is like, hundreds of thousands of people in some counties, maybe just uh, like 20,000 people. So just uh, looking at the cases, maybe it's not very insightful. It doesn't mean mid, uh, if you go in Middlesex, there is so, it's a zombie land that you get COVID right away. So maybe there's so many people there and uh, it doesn't give you good insights. On top of that, let's, we want to, let's you are uh, Mr. Biden, and you want to dedicate some budget and some focus on some counties of United States. So for you, new cases is not helpful. You need to know the rate, how many cases per population. And as a US president, uh, if they give you the all of the counties, you would freak out. Even for, uh, for in this case, for just Massachusetts and New York, you it takes some seconds or some like couple of minutes to read the table and find the worst cases uh, which may not be even very informative because it's not about rate so uh, let's say if thousands of counties in the united states it's really hard to understand how to dedicate budget and focus maybe you need to use a military units to help some counties and or dedicate some budget. So as you see, there's some issues in this table. Let's look at next slides. This is case rates in February 22nd. So can anyone tell me what are the worst cases, worst places in the US in terms of COVID rates right now? So if you are US president and you have some budget to target some part of the U.S. that are in the very uh, bad COVID situation, which parts you would dedicate uh, more budget? There's no key that kind of says what which color means what but i'd imagine the darker the color the more yeah, the higher I mean, the rate of the cases is yeah you're really good you know first of all the, the, you should get uh basically uh more information what color means but let's say darker colors means uh, more rate or higher rate and lighter color means uh, lower rate I mean, at first glance, it looks like the Midwest has more rates, but at the same time, the density is not that, uh, they're not that dense there. So I'd look probably look to target like east of Atlanta and the Midwest. Yes, Evan is right. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a South Carolina in the east of Atlanta here, probably... I'm not sure. It could be Nebraska, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. So this is some issues about this visualization. But anyway, with this even uh, low quality visualization, it doesn't have enough information. In one glance, you can find problematic part of the United States. Imagine if you have a table with thousands of rows for counties. It's much harder to understand the problem. So in first part of this course, you learn how to make a better visualization and understand how visualization helps you to make informative decisions. So instead of make, uh, looking at the 1 million rows and like uh, finding the issues, by one glance, 
you can find this part is problematic. This part is problematic. Let me draw some shapes here. Oops. Oh my God. Okay, this part maybe. Sorry, my mouse doesn't help, but let me just move it here. Maybe this part and this part. It's just a small county. I think that's just two or one county here. Are uh, very problematic. Maybe we can find other parts. I think in Louisiana also there is some issue. So you can understand which part of county uh, county has problems, and you can focus more. So yeah. This is what you would learn in next couple of weeks, how to make good visualizations. Not this one. Again, uh, I think Tobias and one of your friends found some issues. And also uh, you can learn how to summarize so many data in just one picture that you can make a better decision. Although this table might have more information, but it's harder to make decision using a table with thousands of rows versus just a one page visualization. Okay, that's for today. Again, our goal was not teaching. I just want to give you and uh, just a grasp that what you face in next few weeks. And the software that we do this visualization would be Tableau. Uh, again, you get a free license to use it in just a few days. I already applied through Tableau and hopefully you get it soon. Any questions for today? No. Okay. If there is no questions, that's for today. I'm glad to see you. Hopefully we have a very productive semester. Again, the first assignment is posted. You can submit it, but you don't have to. You have 12 days. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I have a question. Um, will these uh, recordings be posted up on Moodle? Yes, I uh, after the class, I first upload in YouTube and then put the YouTube link over Moodle. So if you go announcement, announcement section of your Moodle, let me show it to you, where is that? Okay, go to your Moodle, announcements, Zoom session infos. And in, in front of YouTube link, you see the video link. Okay, perfect, thank you. You're welcome. By the way, if you find some new questions, you can reach me during office hours or you can post it through GroupMe. And even if you post a question over GroupMe, you get a credit for that. I account for your participation. Okay, that's for today. In next class on Wednesday, we start teaching and just, uh, okay. Thank you, Kirti. So yeah, Kirti get a credit. Yeah, she's participating in class discussion. Anyway, thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.